Hey there, I'm Brandon and I'm excited that you are watching this video because that means you are interested in learning to pray in some new ways, which is absolutely awesome. So I wanna to talk to you about a type of prayer that I often do when I'm reading my own Bible and I call it praying with the Bible. It's a simple form of prayer that helps you connect deeply with God's word and it helps me to remember the truths from the Bible. So I'm going to demonstrate that with a video for you. You guys are gonna see that. I got my, my Bible on the phone, you'll see it off to the side. But if you wanna join me, it's Colossians 1, 9 through 14. And so let's say I came to Colossians 1, 9 through 14, and I, I come to verse nine, and I really wanna use this as a prayer time. This is, this is what I do. Verse nine, and so from the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you might be filled with knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. And so I'll stop there, and I'll start thinking about people that I know, that I wanna pray for. Right? Paul, who wrote this, is saying, man, we're, we're praying for you all the time. And so I think about friends, family, people I know that are going through hard things, and I, I pray for them, cry out to God on their behalf, and ask that they would be filled with wisdom and knowledge, kind of like Paul did. Verse 10, so as to walk so that you would walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So after I read that verse, I would say, hey, I, I want to live a life that looks like that, that's fully pleasing to God. And so it's a great way to start the day. I'll say, God, please help me to be focused on pleasing you today. Help me to do every good work that you have created, step into every opportunity that you have made for me, and I'll, I'll pray through that to kind of set myself up for the day. Verse 11, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience and joy. I'll, I'll thank God for how mighty and awesome he is. I'll ask him to help me to have patience and joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you. Uh, in verse 12, we see it down there, so maybe take some time and just thank God for different things that are going on in my life. Verse 13, he has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transformed, transported us into the kingdom of his beloved son. So again, I'll say, God, thank you for your forgiveness and, and help me to truly live that out and walk in the kingdom of your son today uh, in whom we have redemption. I'll just thank him for Jesus. Um, and so in those moments when I feel like I'm stuck in a prayer rut where I just keep praying the same things over and over or, or even when I don't have the words to pray, I then am praying God's word. I'm aligning myself with his truth. I'm letting him write his words deeply into my heart and mind. So it's been a really powerful form of prayer for me to practice out. And I hope it's something that will be helpful for you to keep in your toolbox. Thanks for joining me here, guys.